Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. You have probably heard a lot about cloud server, but how about building our own cloud server in house and accessing our file like Word, Excel, PDF, photos, and videos without the need of any server, computer, or laptop? Is it? Yes, you heard that right. In today's video, with the help of TP-Link Archer C566, we will build our own home cloud server. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to fix the error like you cannot connect to the file share because it's not secure when you enable the file share on the router. So let's get into the video and build our personal cloud server on the TP-Link Archer C5 C6 route. So before we get into the video, let me explain you how I have connected my hard disk to the router. So you can see here, this is my hard disk. This is the A data hard disk. And uh, this is two terabyte hard disk and this is my router. And you can see here the small, this uh, USB link here. And when I connect this cable back to this router, this will glow up. This will glow up to the green. So let's connect this uh, cable back. You can see this USB port on this router. And uh, let me connect it back to this uh, router here. Okay, so give me a moment. So I'm connecting now. As you can see here, I have connected this router back and you can see this, uh, this USB uh, light is glowing now. It just means this is connected and they see this cable is also connected back to this router. Well, and uh, you can see this LED light, the blue LED light is blinking on my hard disk. That means our connection is true. So this is the first part of uh, the configuration. You can connect your uh, hard disk or pen drive to the router now the second configuration let's log into our router and do the rest of the configuration okay so let me bring my browser here so you can see here this is my browser and uh, let's log into our right here router is 192.168.0.1 you can see this router web page here so if your case uh, if you are not able to log into the router just do some basic troubleshooting steps like uh, uh, just try to ping this router you have to ping the router like 192 ping 192.168.0.1 see this is pingable and if it is not reachable make sure that you have connected to a uh, correct SSID and um, and if you have given any static IP on your uh, Wi-Fi LAN card just remove that it's I have already done it in the one of the videos just go ahead and watch that so now um, let's log into the router. Okay, I have logged into the router. Then we have to go to the advanced. And once you go back to the advanced, you have to click on uh, USB sharing. And in USB sharing, you have to click on the USB storage device. Just click here. You can see here, um, this is showing you my hard disk. So this is says that uh, Available space is 836GB and use the space is, you can see the blue line here is 1000 GB. So this is 2 terabyte hard disk and this has already detected it, right? And now here, you can see here, uh, it is asking, it says that this, this option, let me bring my pen here. Okay, so this is my pen. You can see here, this is say that this is the default account. The default account means which you use, which you use for login your router. Right, I have using. I have given by login to this IP. I have given the username and password. But if you have an option to create a new account, so why don't we create a new account? Right, it would be better to create a new account. So let's click on the new account. The username will be admin. You can change the name. You can give the any name. For example, uh, your name is Paul. So you can give the Paul here you, as a username. For my case, I'll just keep it as an admin. And the password also you can change it. So let me change my password here. Okay, and this is the sharing. Uh, this is the network sharing name. So that you use in the run command. So can we change it to like my home? Now, or you can see my data. Right. And here you can see here, this is the option. Uh, it says it's, I think enable the services. Here you can see here, it's uh, asking about the enable the services. So you can see here, the first one is a media server. Okay, pen. The first one is a media server. The second one is a network. 
neighborhood the third one is ftp and the, the fourth one is ftp internet so we are not going to enable the ftp internet because that is over the internet and you can see here when you try to log into your network it should be the this part double slash and then archer underscore c5 but when you save the configuration so i have not saved the configuration of my data you can see here and when you save the configuration you can see this this has changed now my data right so the, this is what you have to put in the run command uh, run and then browse it i'll show you it in the in the video now when you come that it says the share to all and enable the authentication so by default it share all is configured here right and this is share all means it will share complete volume volume means like when you have a hard disk of one one tv two tv or five twelve it will share all of them but when you disable the share all you will have an option to share the folder so for example when you click on the add here it says that uh, select the folder so i'll select the g here the g drive and when you go to the g drive you can see this is my folder these are my folder chain i can select on the save so in that particular folder it will only save this uh, this education folder here right and folder name it would be save like education so i'm telling about the option where you can save this uh, only one particular folder you can enable the authentication enable the right access enable the media sharing these are the option you can enable it and you can save it so let's save this configuration just for this i'm sharing you just for your uh, uh, demonstration purpose so you can see here there are option where you can multi share your multiple folder my sub i mean to say the subfolder but in my case i'm not going to share any uh, subfolder so what i'll do is just as my simply i'll just enable share all and the, all the folder in sda volume 1 what is the sda volume 1 this is the sda volume 1 sda volume 1 all these 2 terabyte hard disk or i mean whatever hard disk capacity of hard disk you have all will be shared now it's time to save it save it and save it right so this is how we can uh, save the configuration now when i come down now this now this configuration is done so what how do we browse this uh, configuration i mean how do we browse this data so just copy this mark my data you have to go to the run inside the run you can see this is my run and then you have to click the my data and click on the ok so when you click in the ok you can see here this is this is showing you the uh, shared volume drive now it's asking about the username and password remember the username and password so this was my username and this was my password okay you can see all the folders have opened here and uh, when i show you to this uh, let's see how fast it's working so when i click on this picture you can see here this 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 is very very fast see how fast it is so now let me open this uh, let me open this one of this uh, video here and see what is the response of the video um what is my video this is the one You can see here this video is running over the network without any lag, without any problem. So imagine that if you have a movies, videos, or any travel videos you, which you have uh, in your hard disk, which is connected to your router, you can access it on your mobile phone, your laptop, your TV, or any electronic gadgets which can uh, know, communicate with your uh, file server, like your server. So isn't it a cloud for you, right? So now. This is about the uh, configuration. This is about the configuration of your. Uh, this is about your accessing your file and folder on your computer. Now it's time to. Now it's time to show you how you can do it on your uh, mobile phone. So <clears throat> let me show you it on your mobile phone. So let me start my recording here. So I'm starting this recording. So I have a Samsung phone. So let's go to my files here and my files here. Uh, I have a called network storage. I go to the network. So for you, if you do not have, uh, um, I mean, my files, of course, you, you, your mobile will have a different model, but make sure that you have a network storage option in the my files. If you do not have, you can go to play store. 
okay let me show you you can go to the play store and you can type like samsung my files you can type the samsung my file you can see here this is install you can see this is install if it's not installed in your system just install it and it will show you the network um, option here i mean i mean to say if it is not supported on your uh, application your my file application right if you have application the way of adding is the same so now click on the network storage and here you have you can see here here you have a plus option here just click on the plus option and it asks about the i had a network storage so in third there is a three option i would select the last one network drive smb v2 and smb v3 just click here and it will try to add it will try to search and show you the network drive here okay so actually i have connected to the different network sorry for that let me connect it back to my wi-fi network okay so i have connected to network i have connected back to my wi-fi network here okay it's connected back and now let's click on this uh, scanning okay you can see here my data and it's showing you the router ip address click here and then here it is showing the ip address a port number don't change anything just add your uh, id and password and add it and you can see here it says the network volume is da1 and you can see these are all my files here and this is what we were looking uh, at the computer right tp link and when i open the jpg you can see here right this is what i was looking for isn't it the cool feature right this is this this is way you can so imagine that if you have an office if you have a small office and uh, if you want to um, make uh, as a server right you have a, if you want to save all your data centralized so you can save all your data like word excel point excel powerpoint everything on the central location right and the router and uh, you can all your uh, uh, office computer can access your file centrally right and if you have a home in your home itself you can have this uh, hard disk connected to your router and all your wipes like all over whatever devices you have like your kids wife all can access your uh, data file everything on your uh, uh, from the different devices right this is a cool feature now um, now it's time to show you the error so you can see here this is the error i was talking about that uh, like when you have a router c5 router and uh, when you try to uh, configure this option which i showed you it will and when you try to browse it from your computer it will show you the error say, says that you connect connect you cannot connect to the file share because it's not secure this share required the absolute smb this share required the absolute smb1 protocol which is unsafe and could expose your system to attack your system required smb2 or higher for more details solve this issue blah 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 so what you have to do is uh, you have to upgrade this uh, your router to the latest version so let me log in to my router here and show you what is the current uh, uh, hardware version uh, software version i have so firmware version let's go to that click on the advanced system and firmware version and you can see here this is the firmware, firmware version I, I i also had a similar problem but after upgrading to uh, this firmware version this issue got resolved so make sure that you should have this version installed on your router so that you can take the advantage of this file share right and your router should be supporting this rtc so you can find this software in the description link below i know that people will start asking that uh, how do and from where i can download the software so i'll put this link in the description you can find it out over there and um, i'll create a different video where i'll show you how to upgrade uh, the firmware on this tp link router so stay tuned on uh, our channel so that's it for today's video if you have any feedback questions query related to this video please put me in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video